could have played harder and with more intelligence. And uh, I, I don't think it was complicated. I mean, I thought they just did a better job doing what they do. They guarded us well. I thought they, they um, guarded screens well. And, and uh, you know, their size, obviously, at the rim uh, made it tough to finish around the basket. And I thought they, you know, because they could do that, they – they got out and defended the three well, and uh, you know it was just tough, tough offensive night from that standpoint. I mean, the the, the disappointing thing to me was that we got out rebounded by ten. We only had seven offensive rebounds on a night where we kept saying we need to be a good. They they don't want to run. <laughs> we need to have four on the offensive glass, um, and consistently we had two. And I think you know, and then defensively just not not quite enough toughness. Um, so. Playing a lot of kids, playing a lot of young kids, and I think that certainly hurts our cohesion. But uh, just really disappointed with uh, with our both our physical and our mental effort tonight. Rather than have you guys raise your hands, I'll just ask you quickly, Joe. You'll start with you, Emma. Second, Matt. You'll go third. So, Joe, you're first. Uh, I want to touch on the, the pink out aspect of the game tonight. Obviously, not the normal crowd for for these types of uh, annual events, but. Uh, Nonetheless, uh, your thoughts on still being able to do it. Sure. Well, I'm always grateful for the opportunity to do it, and and hopefully it's it's impactful not just in terms of you know raising dollars, but just giving our players a uh, an opportunity to think about you know how cancer has affected every every family <laughs> um, in our program and and, and everywhere, and just. So I just, you know, we talked before the game and I just said to re reflect and honor the, the people who, uh, who've come into contact with cancer in your, in your lives, whether it's friends or family or family of friends um, and, and, and think about them and, but also honor them with, with your play tonight. So um, just, yeah, I'm, I'm appreciative that we had an opportunity to do it even even in a year like this. Emma? Um, so Saturday starts a four game road stretch. How are you using tonight's game to uh, prepare your girls for that stretch? <laughs> uh, well, I hope we got the worst, the worst of us out, out tonight. Uh, and again, Providence had a lot to do with it, but you know, we're gonna need to play tougher and, and better. Um, than we did tonight. I mean, I, you know, obviously it's been difficult. We were on a, you know, three and a half to four week pause, um, played two games in 48 hours and then didn't get to play again for nine more days. So I think just, you know, our practice, it's, it's just been a stop and sto stop and start last, you know, five weeks in particular, but, you know, I, I still don't think that's an excuse because Providence has had the same issues they were on a long pause, played one game and, um, you know, hadn't played for a week. So, and I thought they were the more ready team to play. So hopefully it's just an eye opener in terms of just, you know, again, we don't, we haven't had enough game experience lately, maybe that we um, didn't prepare the right way. I just, I felt like we weren't, we weren't what we needed to be um, mentally tonight. I thought we took, uh, I thought we took a lot of bad shots in the first half and, and didn't, you know, just didn't play very intelligent offense. And then I thought we compounded that by um, not, not taking advantage of, of the depth difference. So, um, you know, hopefully it's, 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 uh, it, it causes some reflection and um, a little better focus um, to get ready because we're 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 going to have our hands full uh, over this over really over the rest of the season. I mean, we have four straight road games, but then we come home and play Connecticut, so <laughs> it's a tough stretch. And um, just I guess look forward to seeing how we can uh, bounce back from tonight. Matt, what what did you think was the um, contributing factor in the breakdowns in terms of your defensive scheme against Baskerville? Uh, tonight, it seemed like you guys were, I mean, I guess I can hear on the broadcast that you guys were trying to guard her differently than you were. 
what did you feel like was the disconnect between the plan and the execution? Um, I don't know. We didn't jump hard enough to the ball. I mean, we talked about it and um, we worked on it enough. I mean, I, well, I thought we worked on it enough. Obviously we didn't, um, but I thought we, we didn't, we didn't do well there. And we, you know, Williams has improved a lot. I mean, I think that's, I mean, I'd like to say that like that kid has gotten, um, you know, being able to make a three has helped her, but even her, even her aggression and ability to finish around the basket was huge. I thought she was the difference. And then, you know, once they got ahead by eight or 10 or more, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't really change the pace of the game because of how quick she is and how, you know, how little we were able to kind of get the game going up and down. That's why I was disappointed that we weren't better on the offensive glass. Cause I, we kept saying we're, they're good. They're not in any hurry on offense. There's no reason we shouldn't be a good offensive rebounding team, but uh, yeah, with Baskerville is just jumping hard enough to the ball. And um, you know, I don't know if we got a little tired and I should have maybe rotated post players uh, through a little bit more uh, quickly. I thought he did a good job of seven and, you know, our, our lineup recognition wasn't always what it could be, but uh, um, again, I just think Williams improvement has really helped their team because you get, you have to guard her so much differently than in the past. Emma. Um, with Carly back in the lineup today, how do you think that helped um, Temi as well, just to get that offensive momentum together? Yeah, well, Carly did, Carly's just, she's an active energy giver, energy giver. I mean, she had eight rebounds and three offensive rebounds. So she was really the only one who was effective on the offensive glass for us. And she just needs to get a little more comfortable with, with playing on the perimeter. I mean, I thought she did um, a good job in a lot of areas, but you can tell she's still a little hesitant um, looking at the basket on the perimeter. I mean, she passed up a couple wide open shots that we were going to need her to, to take, but I thought overall for her first game back, she did a lot of good things. And, and I think, you know, that's, a, that's uh, encouraging, obviously, as we, as we work into these next few weeks. We'll take two more questions and both for Matt. Um, what did you, what did you see uh, from the Arca? Cause it like, I know she, you went to her late today, but for, it was the second game in a row where she's kind of giving you some late life when it felt like the game had gotten away in the fourth quarter a little bit. Yeah, obviously should have gone to her earlier. Um, you know, the, the, the tough thing was Tatum's Tatum was on a minutes restriction and basically she was, allowed to play in the first half and um we, our stephanie just felt like you know having having 15 you know she hasn't she practiced for the first time just a little bit yesterday and so i think it was more um just you know having you know limiting her overall but but you know being really careful with having her cool down at halftime and taking that time off so i felt like she we had to play her more you know, early and, uh, you know, Didi was out of practice yesterday. Um, you know, she had, uh, she had a shot in her knee, her knee's been bothering her. So she hadn't practiced. And so I just felt like she was probably odd player out in the first half when Tatum was going to have, uh, her minutes and, you know, but obviously in retrospect, I should have played her some in the first half too, because I felt like she was, um, she did a lot of good things again. Last question for Matt. You may have kind of answered this with the cohesiveness, I guess, comment, but it seems like in a majority of your games this year on the offensive end of the floor, there's really only been kind of one player going or like, you know, in a rhythm at a certain time. And it doesn't really seem like there have been moments where there's two or three and you guys can put runs together that can kind of change the momentum of a game. Do you uh, and the staff have kind of, any thoughts on how to get maybe one or two or three players going at the same time, or does that just come with reps in the in games, which has been kind of an issue? Yeah, I think I think that's I don't know. I think that's probably too early to ask that question. I mean, I I just I don't know. I mean, we're like I said, we're playing some young kids. I thought we got them some some decent shots. Uh, 
And, uh, but yeah, we, I think we miss, we miss Tatum from the standpoint of just getting a little bit better looks and, and, you know, I, Tatum was, her reads weren't as good as, as normal, just based on the fact she hasn't practiced, but I thought, you know, she had a couple of times off ball screens where she had the fill behind player wide open and didn't get it to her. And so I think that's just, um, but I think having her back will help us, but yeah, I don't know. I wish I knew. I mean, you know, obviously we, we couldn't throw the ball inside as much against this team because of, of their size and length. So kind of negated Emma's low post game and um, even our other kids. I mean, you know, they're six, four ish, both, both Geary and Baskerville. So I think that took away a lot. And I mean, I thought we had enough good looks from the three, but, but uh, we didn't make enough of them. And then, like I said, I just, um, we got to figure out how to, how to manufacture extra shots. And, um, you know, so, I mean, it was, I thought it was our offensive rebounding, but also, you know, just, we didn't get enough live ball turnovers. I mean, I thought we, um, you know, against a team that's, that has, you know, puts usually a, a non-range or, or a couple non-range players out there at a time, you know, our activity level was okay, but it wasn't, it wasn't good enough to create enough live ball turnovers where we could get some easier baskets and kind of get our head up. All right. Thank you, Flan. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Flan. Thanks, Glenn.